Hollywood producer Randall Emmett is known for producing low-budget movies, 120 of them, most of which were critically panned. But he did find some success with films like The Irishman and Lone Survivor. Some may recognize him, though, for his role on the reality TV show Vanderpump Rules. Welcome home. We're getting married. Yeah. Now, Emmett faces lawsuits and allegations of abuse against women and his former assistants. L.A. Times reporter Meg James helped to uncover the accusations in her latest investigation with Amy Kaufman. Meg, what a tale. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, Lisa. So how did this guy go from making geezer teasers, and you can tell us what those are, to being involved with people like Martin Scorsese? Yes, this is a really interesting part of the story. Randall got his start doing direct-to-DVD movies, but over the course of his career, you know, 20 years ago, got a lot of success with some of these pictures and using these big stars like... Bruce Willis and Mel Gibson, just for a few days of shooting them, but having those big stars in their films allowed him to sell his movies over the, overseas, and they were hugely successful. Along the way, he had Lone um, Survivor, was a universal picture. The second that they run down there, we got 200 on our backs. Till we terminate the compromise. We cannot do that. And that sort of um, catapulted him into another realm of Hollywood. He ended up working with Martin Scorsese, and ended up being a producer on The Irishman. You ever hit anybody on a job? Yeah. I don't think so. So what are the accusations against him, Meg, and who's making them? My colleague Amy um, Kaufman and I uncovered a lot of really strong and serious allegations of mistreatment of women, mistreatment of, of assistants, um, the old sort of Hollywood casting couch allegation where we, you know, saw um, documentation that he had sent, you know, emails to, to women saying like, yeah, you can have a part in this movie, but it means that you have to have sex with me. And so stuff that, you know, one would think that was in, you know, Hollywood, you know, far, far away, but stuff that, you know, allegedly occurred, you know, in the last 10 years or so. He even sent a message to a woman he didn't know in Las Vegas talking about sex and drugs. Yes, I mean, that was earlier this year. And one of the things that was really surprising was that that the allegation is, is that Randall would reach out to women just randomly, people he would find on Instagram and, and then start you know, pursuing them, according to this one woman we talked to in Las Vegas. Randall would you know, allegedly say, hey, I'm a movie producer, Google me. You know, I'm somebody you'd want to know. And, you know, random women, including this woman who we spoke to, you know, who encountered him while she was leaving a bar late one night when she was uh, in, like, Studio City on Ventura Boulevard. And there have been lawsuits against him. Yes. There have been so many lawsuits. And, and you know, I counted that there were, you know, more than 10 lawsuits that are currently ongoing, really serious allegations. Film financiers saying that the money that they had extended to produce movies a lot of times went for producer fees and not movies at all. So there's, there's a long, long trail of litigation in the court system. And there was another allegation by the woman with whom he shares a child. Was that a criminal charge? No. What happened was is that Randall was very, very well known to reality TV watchers of Bravo. Oh, yeah. Hi, babe. We're doing a little backdoor stuff today. Yeah. I am engaged to my soulmate, Randall Emmett. Um, because his, his ex fiance Lala Kent, is a major star of the Vanderpump Rules show. And Randall had a recurring role, you know, as himself on, on this reality show. And what happened was in October, um, pictures surfaced online of, of Randall in Nashville with some young women. And um, another cast member on Vanderpump sent these photos to Lala Kent, his then um, fiance, and she was horrified to see that he was out with other women in, in Nashville. So that caused an altercation. Um, Lala has said that um, she tried to grab his phone away from him. 
he pushed her to the ground. Randall, you know, for his part says, you know, she never was pushed to the ground. They just, you know, were having this struggle over this phone. She felt that was, she needed to get the cell phone because it was this keeper of secrets. And, you know, there was this huge fight, um, you know, that you know, unfurled. There was another allegation that doesn't have to do with sex or drugs, and that is exploitation of Bruce Willis. This is a really difficult allegation. And, and frankly, you know, it's hard to say because Bruce Willis's attorney has said that Bruce wanted to work and Bruce was able to work. But we documented that there were numerous films that were made where Bruce was really struggling on set, where he couldn't remember his lines. There was one scene in, that we describe in the story where they tried and tried for a half hour to get Bruce to kick down this door of this scene from this movie that was shot in 2020, um, Midnight in the Switchgrass, and he just was unable to. The stunt coordinator had to crouch underneath Bruce and donkey kick the door open. So there's allegations that, you know, and questions, a lot of questions as to why you know, Randall and, and another production firm were, were using Bruce so much in, in the last couple of years when it was clear to everyone on set, and we talked to so many people on set, that his condition was really slipping. So Meg, what happens next to this producer? Well, this is an interesting part of the story because Randall has been able to recreate himself several times during his career. And in one of the um, lawsuits that I was tracking, he, he testified that, no, he was not going to be a producer of, of television and films, but he was now going to be a director of films. And so now he's trying to recreate himself as a director. And um, just in the last couple of weeks, he finished a, a movie down in, in Georgia, and it stars John Travolta. Meg James and Amy Kaufman, an incredible investigation. What a read. Thank you so much, Meg. Thank you, Lisa.